Mary Beth, Karen. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some fools. Come on, it's this way, on me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No, well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah, and Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are, right. decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. 
It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hey, come on. I'll lead you there. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey. That looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey. Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from the water. Will you see anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. We're here for your guns and your money. Give them up. I thought we were strategizing.
shot. I'm making a move. The last hit, just barely. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Go, go, let's haul. Come on, G up, fall in. Okay. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Uh, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch... And everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Hello, oh. boy. Hey, boy. Hey, 
Arthur! What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, let's move out. the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Need a work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Ah. Yeah. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. 
I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, you rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. You're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. I'm not sure this is quite the place. 
Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. Would you care to? I was child, and it's. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Don't hurt us! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here, unlock the door. Oh, oh, you think oh. we're here for fun? No. Oh. 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 Open the goddamn vault! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. Too goddamn oh. slow! Oh. Oh. Too slow. Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but uh. you better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still! Slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, need to move this along. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. I'll keep a lookout at the door. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Bill, how's it going there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. One. Good. We gotta move.
Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. Yeah.
it's okay. Yeah. It's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. You did good, you Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. How's it going?
Hey, folks. Hello. Evening, Arthur. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Ah, uh, he ain't that bad. Okay, Arthur. I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. My lord, it was wild. Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. We was right. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Wide as a cloud. You be well, too. I'll try. I really will. Okay. For a few weeks. Well, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or... Hi there. Sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <laughs> Here, I picked up this. I heard you talking about losing the one your pa gave you. Well, that is mighty kind. Thank you, Arthur. How, How are you doing? Oh, I've been better. These things are sent to test us. 